Good morning, I'm Mike with Prep for Emergency again, and we're going to talk today about uh, different water options for water storage for long term and short term. Um, I don't obviously have a lot here today because some of the other bigger ones, when you get into like the 50 gallon uh, blue food grade style, um, we'll do a picture of that so you guys can see that too. Um, but that's an option if you want to do long term for, for large quantities. Um, and also those stackable style, so they're, you know, 20 gallons usually. Uh, 10 gallons depends on the size um, different size stackable sizes that we can we can store water with um, this one here uh, this little gallon or one liter or one gallon one um, <clears throat> I got this at the local dollar store so you can go get these and I recommend always just emptying the water that's in them out and then just filtering and putting your own tap water in um, and then what a nice thing you can do is you can take these and put them in your freezer and doing that, it allows you to uh, allow your meat to, to last for an extra couple of days if, if the power ever went out. So, and if you keep a couple of these in your fridge, or even one of them, it's extra water in case the power goes out too right away, so you have it. So that's an extra option. You can I, uh, a little, what is it, three cubic foot uh, freezer? You can fit about six of these in there. So that's a fair bit of water for you know even a family of four. So, and then these are. Um, these are good for camping for short terms and stuff like that if you want to use for, for water just for going from point A to point B. Um, you can get these at local Canadian Tire, uh, Home Depot, pretty much anywhere they have them. So, and then you got these big empty ones that I never use, but I wanted to show you guys that they're, they're, they're pretty good. <laughs> it's a nice option. Yeah. And then these Reliance ones, these are nice because in an emergency, if you ever have to bug out, um, they've got handles. They, they stack pretty good beside each other and sometimes on top of each other, but they're very, they're very tough and reliable. And on average, you can get these for about 15 to 20, $25. So it's a pretty good price. So these are all just suggestions, obviously. Um, but if you have any questions or um, any comments or anything, please just uh, shoot us a message. And and reply and we'll see what we can do and yeah thanks for watching the video